recording. Now, that really hurt my foot. It's right here. I'm sorry. Look, you can see there's a mark. I can't see it, actually. I thought it was, I thought it was a Lego. <laughs> That's how bad it hurt. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, here's Thank your you. thing. Thank you. Welcome, everybody. We're doing our Facebook Live. Yeah, Facebook Live. Try to sit up a little bit. Okay. Get my arm in there somewhere. Somewhere. No one's there. Well, no they won't here. be yet. They always come. It takes a little while for people to come. It takes people a while to come. Oh, we're off center. I'm not going to get up and fix it. I'll just scoot over. Okay. <laughs> well, so welcome. I'm Chris. I'm Miriam. And we are from Keto Chow. So we make a nutritionally complete meal replacement mix um, called Keto Chow, oddly enough. Um, and, oh, Jenna Kai is here. Hey, hey. And Carla and Linda. Yeah. Hi, um, Sorry, it just wasn't showing up on our thing yet. Um, but yeah, we make, we make keto chow. And every Tuesday we sit down, our kid's in the background playing with Growing his stuff. Raspberry Pi emulation machine because um, it broke. And so we had to reprint him a, um, a new case a new for case. it. Do you want to show it to him now, Sam, so they can see it? Uh, I think he's screwing things together, so... Oh, he's fixing it. I'll probably show him the old one, but uh, anyway, so we sit down every Tuesday. Oh, there it is. Oh, there you go. He's putting it together. He's putting it together. Cool. Okay, it's missing the buttons. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll get it fixed somehow. Yeah, he will. Um, so yeah, we sit down, we answer questions, we talk about what's going on, and it's our weekly Facebook Live. So, this is the part where hey, Ashley. I'm going to share the video on a bunch of different places. So, so I talk about my day. Yep. So I had a good day today. You got to talk to the uh, car dealership. Oh, I sure <laughs> did. Because I have two recalls on my van. Because I'm yeah. a mom, so I have a van. I mean, okay. moms cannot have vans, but they're so convenient for driving people around. And you know what's funny? The girls use it on a date because they can fit six people in a van so yep. you can go on a triple date and it's awesome. So yeah, I did that today. Well, I didn't. I just called and made an appointment for the recall to be taken care of and had keto chow for breakfast and lunch. Oh, so did I. So that was good. I had chocolate mint and chocolate peanut butter. And oh, I guess we probably had it for dinner too because we had chaffles. We keto did. Chow chaffles we for had dinner. keto chow chaffles. So hey, Paula, how are you? Oh, she said, let's see those nails, Miriam. Here you go. They're, uh, they're just, just shiny. They're just uh, got the gold glitter on the top and the red. My so. nails just cute, cute. look like. But, but I did get my nails. ring. Remember, I said I lost my ring. So I got, got that fixed. Now I'm not sad anymore because yep. I felt like I wasn't married. But now I'm married again. So that was nice. And what else happened today? Can you think of anything? Sharing? Uh, we just made chaffles. We got a, uh, a proof of the new layout for the front area thing. We did? Oh, yeah. we got a proof for our new keto chow sign. So we have. Uh, we got a wood wall. It's so cute. I'll do a video and show you guys. Um, oh, Jenna Kai said pretty nails, Chris. And, anyway, <laughs> you're getting a sign on the wood wall right inside the door. So when you come in, it'll just be like, keto chow in your face. In case it wasn't in your face enough five seconds ago when you were opening the door. In case it wasn't in your face enough when you were looking at the sign on the building on the outside. That's right. So we're all about signs. So that'll be good. I don't know when it's going to be done, but... Yep. Maybe. And I'm working on putting up decor, so that makes me happy because I like pretty things. And it's the one place where our kids don't get anything dirty. Yeah. <laughs> people would always come in our old office, people would come in and be like, wow, it's so well decorated in mm -hmm. here. And it's like, yep. It's because I was able to do whatever I wanted and it made me happy. Uh, Sabrina says, what flavor keto chow chaffle did you make? So I did three different batches. I did peanut butter, I did chocolate, and I did vanilla. And the vanilla one, so Haley, our daughter who takes her to high school, she's taking 
truffles to her sci-fi fantasy. What are truffles? English class. Truffles are cheese and eggs in a waffle maker. But we just put um, keto chow into because it's mm -hmm. like floury. Um, anyway. We even shot a video today showing how to yeah, make them. Yeah, we did. So Haley's doing that for her, her English class. Oh, crap. Rachel's here. Oh, Rachel, hi. Look busy. Haley's making waffles for her English class, <laughs> and but she wanted them to be keto, so we made them with less cheese than we normally do, so they're more waffle-like, a little bit more spongy, yeah. instead of the uh, truffles that we like that are hard and crispy. I mean, not super hard, but I like them when they're crispy, because I think they're better. And somebody asked, can you do keto chow without adding the fat? Fats are sending me to the bathroom. You can, um, but if you're doing keto, you need to have fat so, from somewhere. Yeah. I, we've no, I've actually known people who have done keto chow with like just almond milk or just water mm -hmm. and then used fat bombs for yeah, and, all of their fat. It's kind of crazy. So you could do, you know, yeah. different ways of getting fat. You just, if you're going to do keto, then you want to have fat. Yep. So that's important. I'm here. Welcome Thank to you. the conversation. I think that the uh, Facebook live event. Uh-huh has expired Oh. because I tried to share to it and it wasn't there so okay well we'll fix that later. I'll fix that later how it's do you okay. make keto chow with butter so you, you melt it you yeah. melt the butter in the microwave that's what we do and then you just add that in with your water and keto chow scoop and it's good to go Chris will share a link right here so I well, there's a couple of things so um, I've got a a video that's just me doing how uh, it's like mixing up keto chow with butter and then this just a couple of uh, so days ago yeah so I just posted that um, a couple of days ago Miriam and I we mixed up 30 meals of keto chow while we were doing an Instagram live so if you really if you want to see, see the whole procedure. Watching and being super boring, that's the one. <laughs> it's like, it, it wasn't too long. We were talking a lot, so um, yeah, it, it took longer than normal, but hey, that's okay. Um, incidentally, I think we'll have, well, I'm, I'm hoping, we'll have better video quality this time because I set up an automatic t uh, thing on our Wi-Fi okay. to disable all of the uploads of everything except for the camera okay so like the whole house is cut off oh, the whole house is in timeout. just about so okay, the cool. nest the doorbell it's all cut off so. so if someone comes to burgle us we will not be notified we'll be sitting right here oh rachel so. said my hair looks awesome this is my hair curly i have curly hair and this is <laughs> my Hair normal. Yeah, I've got some curly Except hair. Except right here, you accidentally didn't shave, so there's like a patch. Okay. <laughs> Nobody great. can see that. Okay, the paper. Today. Well, this whole week. This whole week is on sale is pumpkin spice. Yep, pumpkin spice caramel. So it's since 10 it's 10 off. fall, it's starting to fall. It's starting to fallish. It's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's why pumpkin sale is on sale because it's going to be fall. So you can all make something pumpkin. We were thinking about making pumpkin chaffles because that would be delicious. Oh, that would be good. Mmm, with whipped cream. Yeah. Um, Chelsea said, I just wanted to say thank you so much. I was so scared to start keto until I saw this amazing commercial. And now I have some faith. Yay! I can do it with Casey and support page. Chelsea, you got this, girl. You can do this, and we will help you. That's right. And Joe's giving you grief again. What? Is he? What's <laughs> he saying? You'll find it. You'll find it. Uh, that Joe. Tell Where is he? what he said, silly. Get out the Floby. Seriously? No, not no. that one? It was not that one. It what did the he one say? Before that. New, New video, video idea. How to unearth the butter so you can melt it. <laughs> 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 so this is a running joke. So we have a video of how to, um, of how to like, it's, it's some of it, the stuff is pretty simple. Like um, people would ask, okay, if you've mixed up keto chow, you have it in the fridge, what's the best way to heat it up? And, and 
I was kind of like, well, it, you really just stick it in the microwave in a mug. It's actually really that simple. But I made a video because people kept asking. Um, there's a video of how to uh, make keto chow into ice cream using an ice cream maker. You're gonna have to link all these now. Uh, I've linked them before, but uh, <laughs> anyway, and so anyway, I did do one about, sometimes when people are mixing up keto chow, they'll mix it up and they won't put in the right amount of water. They'll understand that add 14 ounces of water means add water until it gets to 14 ounces. And so it'll be like really thick and really salty. And I, for the life of me, I didn't understand why even people were, why they even were saying it's so thick and salty until I, for Mixed a, it up for a thick different, and salty. yeah, for a, a different project, I deliberately made keto chow with not enough water to see if it would work. And it did, but it was really thick and salty, like crazy. And so I made a video about how to add more water. And Joe's like, Seriously? <laughs> You're making a video about how to add water? What are you gonna do next? Make a video about how to wait for the mail? And so I totally made a video of how to check the mail. So now but, it's gonna be a running joke. We'll but I, I, I tied into that a, a video of kind of a tour of the front area of the Keto Chow Without office. me, and it's my area, yes. so my feelings are hurt. Oh wait, there's more stuff though. So we'll get yeah. a real tour, a proper tour. That's later. right. Let's see, get out the Floby, perfect fall flavor. Yeah, that's yeah, the flavor is. of the week. Uh, Athena wants to know, when do you expect to have the peanut butter individual packets up and running? That's actually on our agenda today. Is it? Yeah. Nice. Never, unfortunately. Well, <laughs> okay, I can't say never. In our dreams. We're hoping to get it. The problem is, and I guess we'll just address this now. So the pe the peanut flour has fat in it. Actually, it has quite a lot of fat in it. So you go to the store and you buy mm. PB2 or PB Fit, and those are powdered peanut butters, and they will usually have a little bit of sugar in them. Mm -hmm. But they they're they more have a for the to them. Um, well, it's they're designed for people to add. Um, oh, Debbie's on. It's for people to add protein to their stuff. So they're designed to be high protein with low fat and they don't care about carbs. So, oh great, Adam Nally's on, everybody act busy. <gasps> <laughs> um, anyway, so the peanut flowers that you buy at the store, they're designed for protein. They're not designed for a ketogenic diet. They're not designed to give you high fat. So they're, they're actually partially defatted if you look at the ingredients. The PB Fit and the PB2. Yeah, the PB2 and, the and yeah. different peanut flour. And if you go on uh, Amazon and you find peanut flour, it'll also be partially defatted. It's generally speaking, this is way more information than you need, it's generally 14% uh, fat by uh, mass. Well, there are companies out there that make high fat peanut flour. Uh, the, the highest we were able to find was a 28% fat uh, peanut flour. And that's what we're using in the chocolate peanut butter. And so because it's a, a higher fat, it actually has a stronger peanut flavor and fewer carbs. Um, so now we're back to why the peanut fl uh, samples don't work. The peanut samples don't work because that added fat clogs up the machine that makes the samples. So it's along the same lines of if you're ever drinking water out of a glass with a whole bunch of like ice in it, and you're like drinking, drinking, and the ice is just staying where it is, and then all of a sudden, bam, it ice hits in you. Your face. Ice in the face. Ice in the face. That's what's happening inside of the machine that packages the samples. It'll build up, build up, and then just boom, it'll completely overflow the thing. So we're still trying to find a way to get the samples going. We just don't have a solution right now. Mm -hmm but it's probably not gonna happen. So in the meantime, um, and it actually says this, if you go on the Keto Chow Samples page, it gives a, br a much more brief explanation than the one I just gave, that it uh, we're having problems with the machine. So in the meantime, if you take a chocolate sample and you add about a tablespoon of PB2 or PB Fit and mix it up, that's about what the chocolate peanut butter tastes like. And the funny thing is, despite the fact that we have, to date, never 
had <laughs> a sample of Keto Chow chocolate peanut butter version 2.1 or higher. Yeah. It's the number two bestseller. Uh, the only one that beats it is chocolate. So Chocolate is delicious. And so is chocolate peanut butter. Uh, Miri made chaffles with both chocolate and chocolate mm -hmm. peanut butter today. So Good. that's the story with the, uh, the chocolate peanut butter samples. So let's see. I, some other people ask questions. We should talk Adam uh, into coming live with us someday. We should. Yeah. That would Adam, actually be go pretty live funny. with us, will you? Uh, Nancy said, prime rib at Outback and requested your loaded broccoli idea. Yes. Turned down the bread when the waitress asked twice about dessert. <laughs> I had a chocolate keto chow when I got home for my dessert. That's awesome. Nice. <laughs> Rachel liked the waiting for the mail video. Oh, man. <laughs> Which, granted, Joe's idea was waiting for the mail, not checking the mail. So, so you did it wrong. Sorry. I know. So Athena wants to know what are the top three sellers? Chocolate, probably Snickerdoodle, since we can't um, have it in stock. Well, no. so the the most recent, I, we, I'm going to pull we it. We change up. it all the time. We just pull up the data, and then we have a big old. Yeah, so it's about graph. time for me to do a rehash of it. Um, He'll just do it real quick while I stand here. Carrie Brown, hi, darling. Oh, she's on two. What the yeah, what? Yeah, we're, we're getting lucky today. We got all our friends. Yeah, there we that, are. That's awesome stuff. Um, so maybe it's are the berries doing one? Well? Anyway, so there's the uh, there's the leaderboard. Oh, Lakanto makes peanut butter powder. He said. Oh, do they? So they probably have a sugar-free one. All right. That'd be everybody. interesting. I'll have to try that. Check out Lakanto. Yeah. So it's chocolate, then chocolate peanut butter, then vanilla, then salted caramel. Now mm -hmm. this is from what is it? May. Yeah. I did a post in January <laughs> of 2019. Oh, Carrie, I can't wait to see and I, you. And I did a post in May showing the flavors. Uh, the one in, in January was kind of heavily weighted towards um, the pumpkin spice caramel and the eggnog. They were higher. When I did it again in May, those were really low because, well, it wasn't the holidays anymore. So yeah. if, if I do it again now for the net last six months, um, those will probably be really low with chocolate still really high, but it's about time for me to do another leaderboard update. So let's see. Um, so I'm going to go in October to Carrie Brown's house and Taffy and Holly and I are going to do some more recipe videos and we're going to try to do them better this time. Although Taffy did amazing, I think. And yeah. Holly did good too. And I finished and editing Carrie's those videos too. today. Yeah. Oh, yesterday. And Carrie took photographs. Maybe, no, today. And they were amazing. Yeah, they and were. And yeah, we're going to get to meet her little kitties. So that'll be fun. And I will not be going to Carrie Brown's house. He's because he's allergic to cats. I'm deathly allergic to cats. Just thinking about it makes you sneeze. Huh? It kind of does. <laughs> You're like, my nose is itching. By the way. They're so cute. And they're so trained so well. You guys would not believe. Like, I was so impressed. They sit on, in, on the counter in a basket. Like... They're just so well-behaved cats. They're so cute. Okay. Like the best cats I've ever seen. Somebody called us the four crazy kiddos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tara wants to know, any chance Snickerdoodle will be back in this week? I need pumpkin spice and Snickerdoodle. That's a very good question. No. Uh, it will not be in stock this week. Maybe next week. It's supposed to be in stock next week. We we'll see if you. it happens. Um, I actually got that as an update yesterday um, the place that does our our packaging for us they said yeah it's not gonna be done this week but it should be done halfway through the week next week. it should be done at the end of the week next week yeah so so we did get banana today we got like what banana yeah well it's it's we had been waiting on banana on the flavoring for the banana for oh, the better part forever. of like three or four months, months. love so, you Carrie bye so Okay. Oh, Debbie says she's impressed with Carrie's training of the kitties, too. It's true. I am, too. So impressed. So impressed. So Kelly got her samples and is trying them tomorrow. Da uh, Darnella says, thank you for not using coconut. We try to not add stuff that's going to cause problems for people. That's mm -hmm. why there's no MCT oil. Um, no that's fat. why there's a lot. Of, yeah, that's no. why there's no fat, essentially. So you can essentially. change it to what you want. Yep. Oh, Melanie's from Pennsylvania. Oh. Let's see, um, Josh 
as PB Fit, the chocolate peanut oh, butter. Ha, there you go. Let's see. Um, when are we going to have a holiday recipe contest? Oh, soon. We're going to have it soon. Um, soon. <laughs> soon. <laughs> we okay. actually were supposed to talk about that in the social media marketing meeting today. That didn't happen because somebody was sick. Yeah, we have a person out sick. Yep. And our um, social media coordinator um, quit. So we got a new one. So she started. Well, she had to week. put in her two weeks notice because so she's family be problems. She's going with her family. Yep. It's she's got two little babies and they're so cute. So she's gonna just be with them and that's great. Yep. So we're gonna miss her. It'll be sad. But we have a new girl starting next week who's super cute. I'm so excited for her. I'm so excited for you guys to yep. meet her. She's adorable. She's adorable. Uh, Darnellis is using cream cheese in her keto chow. Yum. I still haven't made that. That's actually one thing that that's either. on our our list, too. So, Darnella, tell us how you make it, because that was another thing that we wanted to ask. And today. Tara's using banana with chocolate toffee. Ooh, that's different. Yeah, that is different. Mm -hmm. I've done banana with strawberry, and I've been, done banana with... Um, chocolate i haven't ever done it with uh with chocolate toffee that's kind of interesting terry so we're so glad you're here today uh barber said so barber printing is it my imagination or do different flavors tend to have different consistencies okay that's true a little bit mm -hmm. so what's going on there is it's a different versions so the um, and there's a, a better explanation of this on our what how, what do I do if keto chow is clumpy? Um, I'll just find that. Um, the the long the short version of it is we took out sunflower lecithin to improve the flavor, but it made it so it doesn't mix up quite the same. Doesn't flow as well. And that was version two point one point one. There's a reason I have version numbers, okay? Um, so 2.1.1, yeah, Just it's... Say, I'm a geek. Hey, You're so if it works, if the boot fits, say that again. Fit. If the boot fits. Fit. Boot. Anyway, so with 2.1.2, .2, we're like, hey, you know what? We're going to go back. So even though it tastes better, most people can't taste the difference. I can, but... The difference isn't enough to justify the problems that people were having with, um, with mixing. So with 2.1.2, .2, we went back, and 2.5, which is actually the same as 2.1.2, .2, with a different logo, the new logo. Um, then, yeah, we're still back. The cooler logo. Yeah, so if you have one that's 2.1.1, .1 .1, it will be a different consistency. It's more powdery, it flows differently. Uh, if you actually take a bag and you squeeze it and it feels like kind of cornstarch. Corn starchy. Yeah, you know, cornstarch when, like. when you squeeze yeah. it, it feels like that. Uh, that means that you have the stuff that doesn't have the lecithin in it. So those ones taste better. Like, I think they taste it's not markedly that better. that big of a No, it's, it's not so much that the, the other ones taste bad, it's that this one tastes really good. But it doesn't, mix, it doesn't well. mix as well. The solution is you use warm water and it mixes like a dream. So, um, okay, so Darnella says two tablespoons heavy whipping cream and two tablespoons of cream cheese, the raspberry cheesecake. Yum. I'm assuming with a blender. So, um, and how do you mix flavors? I measure using a scale. So you can either mix up two at the same time and then just, and then just split, them. split them. Or just do half a scoop. Yeah, or just do a half scoop. a scoop. So that would, or do you know different you know half of the gram size yep so in the past when i've i don't mix flavors because i'm too lazy <laughs> or i mix uh two of one flavor and one of another um robert and diane says i found a way to mix it without it sticking to the sides i put in the heavy cream um oh i think they actually accidentally hit um Enter, enter before they finished. <laughs> I'm lazy. Cream. I just add a scoop of each flavor hi, and split the shake into Sam, two. You gotta say hi now. There you go. Saw your feet. Measuring it is too much work. Yeah, so that's that's kind of my way of doing it too. I just I mm -hmm. yeah I mix them together. All right. So next thing on the paper is we've talked about this before, but it's always nice to go over. Keep an eye out for hidden carbs. 
Um, heavy cream says it has zero carbs per serving. Yeah, when you get it from the store, most mm -hmm. of them say zero. But it's like 0.43, and so anything that a manufacturer makes that's under 0.5 can be marked as zero. You can round down. So that's why we have all these points on our thing, because we like to be super accurate and weird and geeky. I'm weird. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so if you add up 0.43 plus 0.43, it's still, it equals a carb, right? Yeah. So really, if you think about it, you're eating hidden carbs and you just don't know it. So um, that's one thing that was on the Facebook support group. So do you want to share the, I did. the document? Yeah, so there's, I, there's a can I use half and half wheel whipping cream work. Mm -hmm. On that page I have how many actual grams of carbohydrates there are per two tablespoon serving. But even better than that, I have how many carbs there are for each 400 calories. So um, mm -hmm. heavy whipping cream, there's 3.34. Come poke your head in, honey, and say hi. There's 3.34 grams of carbs per 400 calories. Um, if you go for half and half, there's 31 grams of carbs per 400 calories. Whereas on the other hand, butter has 0 0.03 grams. So essentially, it's a rounding error. Mm -hmm. um, that's, why, that's why we like butter so much. Um, it's just fantastic, has almost no carbs. So when you're, if you want to use heavy cream like we do, oh, actually just drank the first one. Yay! Nice. Um, if you want to use heavy cream, well, we usually just use uh, heavy cream when we want to mix up keto chow to put into the ice cream maker. Because doing it with butter in the ice cream maker, yeah, eh, it good. doesn't really work very but well. But I still, I just haven't been doing the ice cream. I think I need it in the summer. In the summer, the air conditioner's on in the house, and then work so much, I'm like, meh. <laughs> but anyway, so I'll use heavy cream for the when I'm going to do it in the ice cream maker. Um, but that's usually the only time I do it. Although, if if we forget to mix up a bunch of keto chow, and we have to do it like spur of the moment sort of thing, then yeah. Hey, Ryan, my brother's on. How awesome. Nice. Hi, bro. Joe says spices can be dangerous with hidden carbs too. Yeah, so that's kind of what I was getting at. You just have to look and see. If it says zero, they should ha actually have a breakdown in the nutrition facts of what it yeah. really is. Or you can look it up, try to look it up. But I think if you need, you need to think, well, just because it says zero doesn't mean it really is zero. Because when you have three tablespoons of zero, it had to be something. Yeah. It has to be something. Well, and Joe says uh, a tablespoon has six carbs. carbs. Yeah, yeah so, eggs do have carbs as well. So look at things and try not to, to have those hidden carbs and just go crazy on them because they say zero. There you go. Oh, so Robert and Diane said, I uh, cut my blender bottle with heavy whipping cream before I put the scoop of keto chow in. Then I add warm water and shake it up. And then I add a few ice cubes and shake it up more. And I put it in the refrigerator. Never a problem with it sticking the sides in. Moroni, I don't need a blender. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy Yay. I have with that last part. Rob and Diane, you guys are so cute. Look how cute their picture is. Nice. I don't want to meet them. I mean, okay. I want to meet you because you're still here. <laughs> okay. Okay, sorry. Back what do we got track. going on? So we talked about peanut butter. Okay. Um, can you have keto chow or do keto without a gallbladder? I know several people who mm -hmm. do not have gallbladders. I do too. Yeah. And are not only doing keto, but they're rocking it. They, um, <laughs> one of our friends, his wife, I guess she's our friend too. We have two friends. <laughs> um, he, she is doing keto, doesn't have a gallbladder, and she said that she would have all these problems when she was doing a, reg, a standard American, mm -hmm. you know, lowish fat diet um, without a gallbladder. She started doing keto and all the problems went away. She's actually having less digestive problems, mm -hmm. uh, better uh, everything, doing a high fat diet, mm -hmm. which is kind of counterintuitive. Um, the way that Ken Bear, Dr. Ken Berry explained it is that, so you have a gallbladder so that if you're not eating a fatty meal. When you have a fatty meal, mm -hmm. it can produce bile to yeah. take care of it. Well, because you're always producing bile. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it kind of comes in ebbs and flows. If you go from uh, lots of fat one meal to not very much fat to lots of fat, then the gallbladder kind of evens that out. 
Whereas if you're being kind of consistent and eating a lot of fat all the time, well, there you go. Melanie lost 120 no pounds problem. in keto, no issue. Oh, Melanie, that's so awesome. some people advocate using ox bile supplements. Mm -hmm. um, Which you can certainly try. Yeah. Oh, and what I was getting at, sorry. I got distracted by Melanie. Choo-choo. <laughs> Choo um, so uh, if you do a low-fat diet, your, your gallbladder fills up with bile, and then it just sits there and sits there and sits there. You're not using it. So eventually it starts to solidify and you have all the problems and then you have to take it out. Whereas if you're eating a high fat diet all the time and you have a gallbladder, it will use it and everything will be fine. If you don't have a gallbladder and you're eating a high fat diet all the time, then your liver will still be producing the bile that you need to break down all the stuff. Um, there you go, oh, Joseph. Thanks, Thank Joe. you. Um, and so you'll be able to do a, a ketogenic diet, a high-fat diet, despite the fact that you don't have a gallbladder to handle the ups and downs mm -hmm. because you're consistently eating yep. a high-fat diet. Yep, yep. So if you just so, build up slowly. How does that work with fasting, though? That's kind of interesting. Me I, too. I hadn't ever thought about that. Uh, well, I guess we'll have to try. Melanie, do no, you fast at all? Do you fast? It's a good question. Probably it would be fine because you wouldn't like have the hugest fattiest meal when you were finished fasting. Yeah. You'd just have a regular meal, right? Mm hmm Jillian says she's been watching the stuff from the, the Keto Salt Lake Conference. Oh, yay! Those That's, are great talks. Huh? Miriam's job this week is to hammer out more of the <sighs> details The details we for the speakers. We have a new speaker, uh, Stephen, do you remember his name? Hussey. His last name is Hussey. Okay. Or who's he? Or I don't know how to say it. <laughs> but anyway, he seems really nice, and I like his stuff. So he's going to speak. He's our new speaker. Okay. We don't have him announced because our social media girl that does posts is sick. Ashley is Ashley Arroyo. Arroyo. Yes, it means a little stream. Little stream. Yep. Ashley, little um, stream. Uh, she's happy to catch us live. Uh, but we are doing the uh, the Keto Salt Lake Conference again in 2020. Mm -hmm. um, tickets are actually already on sale. Oh, yep. there you go. Melanie does 18-6, um, um, time-restricted feeding, and bakes, breaks her fast with a keto chow. Every time I lift up my arm, you can't see it. I'm, like, yes. <laughs> I'm doing stuff over I'm doing, here. I'm doing something over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Okay, stop. Jumping off. Okay. Back to the anyway, we are doing the, the Keto Salt Lake conference again. Mm. Um, I'm planning on live streaming it again. Um, We're not going to charge for it because if it doesn't work, then that's. Yeah. If it doesn't work, then you'll we'll get just, your money back. We'll just do the best we can do, uh -huh. which is not as good as other people sometimes. It's true. Like this, the soul sofa thing, this is good for us. Yeah, we actually have a light now. Yeah, it's um, super shiny. Kind it is super shiny, but it it makes the video quality a lot better. And we're using, uh, there we are, lapel mics. Um, and I'm I actually I have the wireless module on the camera, so I don't have to do editing later on. I I, I was using a, a recorder and all this other gear. This is just a whole lot easier. I plan on using the same stuff for the. Uh, the Keto Salt Lake conference as well, which is actually why I bought this uh, camera, was for the Keto Salt Lake conference that we did this year. It's a really year. cool camera. It works well. That's the one I took to Carrie's list? Yes, it is. And I'll take it again. It is legitimately a, a business expense. Yes. In fact, I've only used it for non-business stuff like once. It was, it was like really once. weird traveling. Okay, so I, I've traveled a couple times without Chris. What, it, which if I have my Holly, <laughs> then I'm okay. But it was really weird traveling with all of this equipment without Chris. So I'm like, oh, yeah. what's the important stuff I need to not forget? Camera, laptop, the tablet, <laughs> all the lights. No, no, you know, okay, well, let's do it again. Yay. So fun. That just reminded me of something. We went to this <laughs> marriage seminar, which was actually really cool. It was cool. so awesome. Uh, one of the things they talked about, they were talking about the fundamental differences between men and women. This has nothing to do with keto, by yeah. the way. Yeah. Nothing but at all. In case you care about men and women, <laughs> it does care. It does count. But yeah. they, they, the guy who was talking talked about this study that they did that they asked them all these questions and had this thing. And that wasn't the actual point of the study. The point of the study was they 
a couple weeks so later after that they asked they sent them surveys yeah and they asked them if they could identify how many exits there were in like the building or the room and where they were and what direction north was and that was the actual point of the study yeah and I th I'm trying to remember what he said, but it was, it was something like to the effect of yeah, eighty percent of the men of the men could identify all of the exits, identify which direction was north, and like twenty percent of the women could. And it was really interesting to me because I'm like, yep. And he's like, and he was explaining it that you know he's like, well, you men, you're you're already looking for the exit from this meeting right now. You know exactly where the exit is. <laughs> it's right over there. And I said. Yeah, it's right over there. <laughs> <laughs> but his, his point was that we're different. Yeah. Because I could care less where the exit is unless I have to pay attention. So when I go somewhere by myself, yeah. I say, okay, where did I park? I have to take a picture <laughs> of where I parked if yep. I'm somewhere different that I don't know where I am because I will forget yep. when I come back out. And I'm like, oh, crap. And usually whenever we go traveling, whenever we go to a keto conference, whenever we do that yeah. stuff, my job is to line up all the stuff. I've got the the car rental, and I've got the tickets Which for the airplane. I have airplane. done before. I am yeah. perfectly capable. You can do it. But why should I if you will? Yeah, it's my job. Yeah. And you do good at it, and I appreciate it. So it's all win-win-win for me. So it's I'll win, just win, walk win. blindly behind you, and you'll just lead me to safety, right? Yep. <laughs> we're going through the airport and I'm like, that's where we're going. That's where we're going. And I'm like, la -dee, da 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 I'm just carrying this All right. Case. Let's get back on track here. <laughs> so Melanie and Ashley are being friends. Aww. And by the way, uh, Zoe wants to be friends with you too. Yay, I want to be friends <laughs> with all three of you. Okay, so. And Zoe's daughter. Here's a question. Do you notice having energy on keto? Uh, I'm assuming more energy on keto and don't mm. need as much sleep. Yeah, so when we first started keto, I think for sure we did. I totally noticed that. Yeah. Um, I didn't need as much sleep to be as alert. Mm hmm Although I'm running a serious sleep deficit right now. Yeah. Like... I think that's because you work too hard. We, we worked really hard to try and get to bed by 9 o'clock last night. And I slept really good. And... There we go. Or, or a ring a night. night. Uh, my aura ring said I slept for six hours and like 50 minutes. minutes. That's still almost seven hours. A, Miriam said cool that she that. slept for eight and a half no, hours. No, no, it said 7.58. Are you sure? Yeah, because okay. mine looked like still, it was seven. a whole hour longer. But we went to bed at the same time. Zoe wants to know, the only question I have, is there a way you can expedite the order faster? Mm. Um like sh get it out faster or make it go faster with shipping we do have ups Ooh, next day air as an option guys. um most of the orders go out usps priority mail which is two days to most of the country three days to the rest so if you're near a an international airport uh then you'll get it in two days and we ship stuff out Pretty much every every order gets shipped at least the business day after you order. Sometimes we ship stuff out the day that you order. So, um, yeah, and, we, and that's one of our, our core things. Um, I We don't put stuff up for sale unless we have it physically in our hands. Um, there, we don't do pre-orders because everybody gets sad when we do those. Because a lot of times it... Um, it, we think stuff's going to come in and it just takes longer. Mm -hmm. So Zoe says ours takes 10 days. Where do you uh, live? I'm assuming you're international. Cause it could be it if you order long. it on Friday after like noon, then you have to wait the whole weekend before we ship it on Monday. So that yeah. could be longer. So, yep. and we do, we are, uh, well, when, when we ship stuff, um, postal service, Oh, New Jersey on the shore? It should not. Oh. oh okay. On the shore. If you order a lot of stuff and you get the free ground shipping, it might take a It'll long time. take like it'll take up to 6 business days. Yeah, that's loserly. Which doesn't count Saturday and Sunday. So if you order 
in Anthony's if you nice order person. in the afternoon and uh, it, it may not ship out that day it may ship out the next day Hi. and then sometimes <laughs> there's a holiday on monday which is oh uh, every time every time there's a monday <laughs> holiday oh, it I seems know, like, no so matter what we have somebody who orders a package next day air on like friday afternoon and we'll try to get those out but a package that's ordered next day air on friday and then Labor Day's on Monday, it won't actually ship until Tuesday. Tuesday. It's so sad. Which means next day air on Friday gets there on Wednesday, which sucks. But it's, it's literally the best we can do. Yeah, we ship everything that we get in the day. Yeah, we don't have any... crazy weird... We do have okay. some Everyone's orders wrong. where, like, the, the address is wrong. So they have to fix it. And we're like, hey, uh, this is the wrong address. So we come back and we're like, hey, is this the right address? Can you confirm? Blah, 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 stuff like that. But that's usually the only time stuff goes longer than a day. So There we go. Sam, um, do you want to tell them what you did today real quick? Stuff. Like what? To um, go to school? Yes. And played in the orchestra? Yeah. What else? Um, I got my pie girl together. Oh, yeah, you put together your little thing? I'm going to go grab that. And okay. you got a tooth pulled? Got a tooth pulled. Okay, oh, Darnella wants to know, Yeah. Uh, what's the best way to ease into upping your fats? In order to mm. ease the bathroom distress. Or as mm. Rachel likes to call it, bathroom pyrotechnics. <laughs> <laughs> so Are you gonna show usually again? the best thing to do. There you go. You put it together. You got it finished. Oh, it's got kind of a funny ridge. Yeah, I yeah, could have fixed that. Oh, you know what? It's weird. I think it popped. Hold on a second. We're going to apparently fix this. Uh, Rachel wants I to know what grade you're in, Sam. That. Put your face in here. Tell yeah. her what grade you're in. Sam, I might I'm need to reprint fourth this. Grade. Fourth grade. That's a three. <laughs> fourth grade. Fourth oh, grade. You're in fourth grade, and he's in Alps, which um. is an accelerated learning program at our school. Well, so he goes to a special school, not our neighborhood school. Because, it's still a neighborhood school. Well, it's still a neighborhood school. It's not like a private not, school or anything. It's not, our, it's not our regular school, but he has a special teacher. Yeah, I'm going to have to reprint that. Will, be, will it still work? Well, it'll work for now. But Yeah, go play, anyway. honey. Okay. Yeah, disaster pants. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so yes, how to, how to up your fat would be... Well, you can try different fats. Yeah, some try, people... Try different. Oils some people don't do well. Worst. Yes. MCT oil is by far the worst. Yep. Um... Avocado oil. Some people actually have really good luck with avocado that they can't do heavy cream. Some people have super good luck with butter. So try using different, different fats. fats. Um, try using a little bit less. Yeah, you can use a little bit less. And see. Um, Sam's playing the viola. Yeah. The viola. Yeah. Violas are awesome. Yeah, violas are awesome. Yep. Yeah. Better than playing one of them, uh, oh, what's it called? Cellos? Yes, cello. There's well, a great... I wanted to play the cello. I saw that there's, it was too There's small. actually people right now. There are a the whole team. bunch of kids that play the cello because of the cello guy. Well, Rob Paravindian, Paravindian did a video about uh, Pachelbel's Canon. Now you have to find it. Uh, I will. Okay. But he said that... It's see, really he funny he, he played the uh, cello. He's like, I think Pachelbel dated a cellist and, and he, she, dissed she dissed him real really bad. bad so he wrote that song <laughs> just to get them you know that one okay so chocolate toffee Puck Bell ramp. you found it i okay, totally now you all have to watch this because it's really yeah fun. but not right now okay boom okay can we go um, to the paper yep what's up next uh, okay um, oh, can you make your own bundle of samples? Oh, no, you can't. So why not? the reason why we don't let you do your own bundle, because that would be really cool, mm -hmm. is because we bundle them ahead of time. So we have. And our, by we. I mean the people at our work. So and I by have hired. People, we mean. <laughs> a bunch of teenagers, and we call them sample monkeys. We totally call them sample monkeys. And they're adorable. And anyway, yep. we, have, we have one, two, three, four, five. I don't know how many we have. A we bunch. have a handful I think of you sample have like monkeys. Eight sample monkeys. No, I don't think eight. Maybe five, something like that. Um, 
who come in after school and they just bundle, 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 bundle. And so they're all ready for everybody to order and we'll just send them out. So that's why we don't um, do that. But you can, there are some secret deals in place. Uh -huh. um, if you order a certain amount of samples, you'll get a discount. And do you remember what those are? Well, if you time? order 21, mm -hmm. you get 5% off. You order 54, you get 5.5% off. And if you order like 91, I think it is, yeah, you get six. That's a ridiculous six. amount. It's how many fit into a padded flat rate, um, a medium flat rate, and a large flat rate. So, so it depends on how much you have to save. So, yeah. but then and you're not saving by having it in a sample. Unless you're going to take it on an airplane, then you want to use the sample. So. Yeah, and people all the time say, well, why can't I have a 21 meal bag that has that different has flavors? Individual samples. It's like, well, you can order 21 of the samples and you'll get a discount, but it's still like $85 yeah. compared to 64 Well, and it still costs money to put them into individual samples sample bags so yeah. it's cheaper to do it in bulk we sell it so that you can get it mm -hmm. at a better price in bulk and uh yeah so you pay for the samples if yep. you want a sample so unless it's chocolate peanut butter <laughs> yeah and then i'm sorry you can't do that yep and but, zoe um, you're welcome for the military discount so yeah and thanks. the other yes. thing is every if you use it over and over again you have to re yeah, you do have uh, to, every time you do the, the military, the military discount. discount. But it'll work every time. So yeah. you just have to do, fill it out again. I, I don't remember. How much well, you, you, just, you just log in and say, give me, my, give me my new code. But there's a whole bunch of different companies that use that same platform. Mm -hmm. So if you're getting a military discount, there's like, it's really easy to, yeah. to get a bunch of them. It's not, so. it's not hard and it's great. And we just really appreciate you and your service. That's right. Or whoever that's your military person. Service. Or first responders. Or we appreciate you if your husband that's is right. in the service because that's a hard life. Speaking of appreciation. I appreciate you. Oh, oh. There's your quote. Oh. You wrote that down for whatever reason. Because I thought it was cute. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we were talking, we're in a meeting today, and this quote came up, so I wanted to share it with you. It is, compliment people. I spelled, I did it wrong. It's okay. <laughs> What's it supposed to say? What the actual compliment quote? people? No, that's that's of the... what they choose to do. Of is that on. the right word? On. That's why I'm saying. What is that supposed to say? <laughs> okay, compliment people on what they choose to do, not what they happen to be. Yep. So if someone's beautiful, they can't help that they're beautiful or they're not beautiful. It's not something they did. But compliment them on what they do. Are you kind, helpful? do the dishes for someone like that's nice yep so I put the link so in there compliment people for what they choose to do not what they happen to be yep. so that's your thought for the day yep so let's that's see that's not keto related <laughs> uh Tina wants to know can you talk about a bit about brand ambassadors and affiliates uh, we have some brand ambassadors and affiliates and we're happy to have more we're kind of in the process of playing with our um program right now the big problem is the lady who was doing it um wanted to needed to spend more time with her family yeah. and so right and now miriam's it. running the whole thing so well which I, so. which I was running it for a while too but it's just kind of a complicated thing so yeah so but you're you can message me and we can chat about it whatever you want to do That'd yep be good. um tara says that the samples are a lot easier with tsa when you're traveling. Yeah, they sure are. Cause, and we've done it too. And we've taken an entire suitcase of samples and they've taken them out and, and scanned every single one. And sometimes they take them. But the other thing is, no matter what we do, every time we go anywhere, we, our bags get searched. It's true. Well, I always get the, we opened your bags. Your bag. I'm like, yep. I hope you enjoyed my Now, socks. Paul, our friend Paul. By the way, Paul, you're going to see this eventually on YouTube. Happy birthday, dude. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, Paul took a full bag of chocolate mint keto chow in his carry-on, like the big bag. In his carry-on? In his carry-on. And he said, the trick is take it out like it was a laptop and stick it just in one of the things. And they'll put it through and they'll be like. Oh, this is protein powder. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. like if, you, if you're up front and show them, hey, this is coming through. 
um, they'll be they'll be like, oh, okay, it's it's protein powder. But if you're like hiding it, then they they freak out or something like mm-hmm. that. Anyway, he said he hasn't ever had a problem. Oh. Um, I've so, had a couple kids just appear. By the way, Ryan said hi. Hey, Ryan. Ryan. Um, Mike wants to buy a five-gallon bucket of salted caramel. I think it's wise. And Jillian's been waking up in the morning craving chocolate keto chow. That's because it's uh, delicious. delicious. And it's, your body's identifying as nutrients. Tina wants to know where to send the message. Um, you can just me- direct message keto chow, can't you? Yeah, direct message keto chow, probably on Instagram mm-hmm. is the easiest way. Have you ever put the magnesium drops in empty capsules? I'm not yeah. sure what you mean. So like the uh, the, the pull apart flavor. things. I don't know how that would work. Uh, the water would eat the water would them. probably okay. dissolve them. Yep. We can get it in powder form. We just haven't. Yeah, we like we it really in the like liquid it in stuff. liquid form because um, it's just so absorbable. <laughs> Tara says she always takes food out the food out of her bag when she goes through TSA. That's smart. Because she has a lot of allergies, which suck, and I'm sorry. I am allergic to cats and everything so else. So if we which, were going to go to TSA, he would take his cat out. Yeah. Just I, I would much rather be allergic to cats than food. So yeah. you got the wrong it, Ryan. So the we deal, win. So I mean, he wins. I feel bad for you, and I'm sorry. Stop eating cats. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll stop eating cats. Um, palm kernel oil. So there was a question about palm kernel oil. It isn't actually a seed oil. So that's the question. Yeah, so... Is something that you would recommend? So medium-chain triglyceride oil can come from usually one of two sources, either from coconut oil mm-hmm. or from palm kernel oil. Um, most people will recommend getting the stuff that's made from coconut oil instead of palm kernel oil. Um, and I don't know if that's for any specific health reason. I've never seen good information that says it's healthier to have the the coconut stuff and the reason being that when it gets down to it you're talking about a saturated fat that is eight carbon atoms long with a whole bunch of hydrogens on it and it is what it is where it comes from is not really a big deal as far as how it's processed by your body I have heard people who advocate not using palm kernel oil derived products because of the way that they're manufactured. So less sustainable than the um, the coconut oil. Um, but that, as far as I can tell, that's the only reason why you would either say yes. Yes, there we go. Anthony says palm oils are bad for the environment. So that's that's the only reason why you would say yes. I want to do coconut C8 or palm C8. So there you go. There you go. Um, so it, are you are you talking about should you use it because of metabolic reasons, or are we talking about for other mm-hmm. more philosophical reasons, which is or a is different the discussion cost entirely. Different, like is yeah. it cheaper? Maybe that's why yep. they're asking. So I'm not sure why they're asking. It was just yep. a question that I thought we would talk about. And this, if you guys have followed me for a while, you know about uh, Dr. Peter Ballersted. Mm-hmm. And his big thing is about people, they, they like to talk about uh, the sustainability of meat production. And usually when we're, we're having that discussion, it's not an honest conversation. The, the things that people are bringing up don't actually have anything to do with real sustainability or carbon sequestration. I cannot speak right now. Um, but he has a lot of really good points about, okay, let's, let's have a real conversation about what you're really talking about instead of these buzzword things. Um, so anyway, that's off on a different tangent. I'm not going to get into that unless you want to hear me pontificate for about three hours. Pontificate. You sly dog. You got me monologuing. Yes. Incredibles. Okay. Let's see. What is the best fat to add to the soups? That depends on what you like. It's true. And what fat you use. Yep. So because it's, it's, you're mixing it up hot, 
You can use pretty much whatever fat you want. You can I use like bacon grease. Bacon fat. I like butter. Beef tallow. I like combination of bacon fat butter and heavy cream. You could use duck fat. You, you could can, use whatever you want. Yeah, you can pretty much. Rachel says it's butter. Okay. Butter is so Rachel good. Rachel gave the right answer. Good job, nobody Rachel. Can, nobody can um, comp argue with that. So now, and we've talked about this before. So uh, Mike just talked about uh, the, um, the palm oils and stuff like that. The interesting thing is there's... Um, there's not a good, if you're trying to lose weight, I would not recommend using MCT oil. If you are trying to deal with a neurological condition or you need ketones for therapeutic reasons, then you might want to look into MCT oil. But don't need, you don't need to use MCT oil to lose weight. So, there you okay. Go. Um, let's see, someone said, does anyone add pure vanilla extract to your vanilla keto chow? I'm sure you could. Not just that, but 